All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome to ITS 303 Animation. This is going to be our first lesson for animation, and we'll talk about introduction to animation. So, by the way, uh, I would like to apologize for not being able to conduct our class sooner. It's because of the problems with the koan. Um, it's a little bit hard for us to prepare a class. It's because animation, diba? Right? You're supposed to use computers, and not everybody have computers, let alone compu high-end or high-specification computers at home. So I have a syllabus. However, the syllabus that I've designed, was, it was designed for a face-to-face -face class where we can use the computers that we have here at Skulahan. So we're, up until right now, I'm still designing, I'm still updating our syllabus so that we can make our animation course much easier for us. And uh, to be honest, up until now, I'm still trying to change it, and, and uh, we're still having some problems with it. But for now, we're just going to discuss the fundamentals of animation. And then if we talk about application soon, then I think we can just use, I, I'll try to find some applications that we can use in our mobile devices for intended for animation, because we cannot use the industry standard softwares for animation, like Adobe Animate, Adobe After Effects, so on and so forth, because um, not everyone has computers, and bisag naman ganito computer, not everybody who has computers have koan, kana mga high-end or high-specification ng mga computers. So, um, we'll, we'll talk more about it in the future, but for now, we're just going to discuss the fundamentals of animation, you know, the boring stuff, and then soon we're going to talk about the applications of animation. Anyway, today we'll have the introduction. So... Uh, be sure to listen attentively. After this class, there will be learning assessment and assignment to be posted. So if you have any questions or clarifications, please go ahead and send your questions to our GC, or you can send it right here in the end messages or Google Meet in messages. So today we'll talk about the introduction to animation, particularly what is animation, the history of animation, and we're go later on we're going to discuss a little bit of our course overview. But all lang kunyo claro. All right. Okay, so animation. It is one of the reasons we enjoyed our childhood. From our favorite afternoon television series to the biggest Hollywood movies today, animation has come a very long way in helping shape the modern world. Since the late 1800s, throughout the century, we have enjoyed animation in many ways. May it be as an entertainment propaganda, and telling emotion-invoking stories. It is also in some ways responsible in uniting people throughout the world by a single passion, regardless of any differences in opinions, beliefs, and culture. Using animation, we are able to experience a live-action embodiment of our wildest fantasy. All right, so, Kinsen will agree. Let's talk about the first sentence. It says here that it is one of the reasons we enjoyed our childhood. Can we all agree to that? All right, so uh, maybe not everybody experienced the same thing that we did, but most of us experienced our childhood a little bit enjoyable because of animation. So who can share? Can you mo share about their experience with animation back when they were child? In what way that you enjoy your animation or your childhood with animation back when you're when you were a child? Anyone? Okay, allow me to share with you my experience. So back when I was a child, I'm very excited to go back home after, you know, every day's class, right? Because 5 p.m. na ay Dragon Ball Z sa GMA. So that was my early childhood, and I was very excited to go back home after school. It's because of that. So, naka-experience ba po, Tana? Come on. So, it's because of... Uh, not everybody, maybe not everybody can experience that. Even ako, in my early earlier childhood, uh, they will have it because um, basically I, I I I was born in Manila, and then when I was four years old, we had to transfer here in Negros. We had to move here in Negros, and for a couple of years, wala mi and 
only a couple of years later or a few years later at the time na nakakuryente me. So back then, wala ko ka-experience sa anong basangan. But I'm very thankful that in some ways, animation was there to go on. That helped enjoy, that helped my childhood to be more enjoyable. And uh, it's up to you that the modern, I'm sorry, animation has come a very long way in helping shape the modern world. So, since the late 1800s. So basically, the animation can be traced back in the 1800s and the cinematography was formed perhaps. But even before that, there's already been a concept of animation. We'll talk about it in in just a few moments. So we have enjoyed animation in many ways. May it be entertainment, okay? So we like, for example, uh, we watch animated movies, animated animated movies, animated TV shows. That is for the entertainment. So propaganda. So back then, every if maybe some of you have known this, but let's say for example, back in 1945 in the World War II. Every time na ay movie sa America kana magpasalit, what silang mas sinihan ba? Before the movie starts, sila sa mga displays na sila of uh, mga animation about animation about sa gera. Before nila i play, murag nimo tradition, mahimo nila nga um nahim, naanda nila nga before mag-start ang movie sa, sa mga sinihan na asa sila mga animation nga ipakita the tip the the war that was going on, diba? Since America was part of the and man, World War Two. So that's it. And then telling emotion invoking stories. So up until that today, we can watch short animated films or animated movies or uh, animate you know animated films in the sa YouTube inana mga short animated movies by inana. So basically, the animation has come a long way. The moment that it was first concept up until today. So it is also in some ways responsible in uniting people throughout the world by a single passion, regardless of any differences in the opinions, beliefs, and culture. So, for example, MCU. Kailan mo ba sa MCU? Marvel Cinematic Universe. Everyone? MCU? Bili mo fan of Marvel? All right, MCU or Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, regardless of regardless of fans pa ka or daily, the first section dagan yung funded to. Ano kare zere wala? All right. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, for example, MCU. It says here that it is responsible in uniting people throughout the world. So MCU was one of the, koan. Um, it's one of the, siguro butang nato animated, koan animated movies that has the largest fan base all over the world all over the world. So regardless of whatever it, the race is, on some mga culture, they fall down into one similar or one single passion, which is loving or supporting the MCU. Okay? So basically, in some other ways, animation is also responsible for uniting people around the globe in a single passion. And then, lastly, animation is, using animation, we are able to experience Morning. And using animation, we are able to experience live action embodiment of our wildest fantasies. So, what our what are our wildest fantasies? So, people ever since always wanted to fly, right? People ever since the unang panahon, we always wanted to fly, fly. But we cannot do that, you know, physically. So that's why, in animation. Comics was invented that allows people to fly in the in the comics, right? Superman, Batman, so on and so forth. All right. So that is what our wildest fantasy is like to fly, to shoot lasers out, out of our eyes, to be strong, to be able to lift boulders, to be able to destroy buildings in one punch, something like that. So this animation, because we cannot do it physically, but we use animation to go on, to live, to experience a live body or live action embodiment of those wildest fantasies. Right? So first is next is we'll talk about what exactly is animation. Animation is a method of photographing successive drawings, models, or even puppets to create an illusion of movement in a sequence. So from the term suggest photographing, what do you mean by photograph? 
Anyone? What do you mean by photograph? Anybody share what is photograph? Anyone? Well, uh, let me, let me call names. Okay. All right. Okay. That's right. Photograph meaning still images. When you say still images, is it moving or not? Not move by ang pictures photograph. Okay. So, in there's no way that we can we will be able to move things, um, like pictures or something like that. So in animation, the picture is really not moving, but it's just a series of pictures that are being played successively, and that gives us the illusion that it is moving. So let's say for example, a video. Kanang mag-video ta using our cameras or our phones. What do you think happened? How, giyon sa atong camera or phone so that we can take a video. Anybody have an idea? Okay. All right, anyway. Ang um, atong camera or atong phone mo take siyag video, not necessarily nga yung capture ang movement. However, our cameras or picture, uh, our camera or our phone will take uh, dozens of pictures in just one second. Diba? While you're moving, diba? Bidyuhan ka. So, ang mong picture, the take nimo, the take of picture nimo, a lot of times in just one second, and then the player, the video player, will play all those pictures simultaneously or successively and uh, when the when that pictures are being played in a in a particular frame rate it will give us an illusion that it is moving but in in real life these are just pictures that are being played successively okay most cameras will take uh, 30 frames per second meaning the camera the camera will take 30 pictures in one second so whatever it is within those one second, then the picture will take those into 30 photographs and then combine them all together and say it successfully. So therefore, makainong tanga just or gagimok ang object in the video, but in reality, it's not really moving. The pictures are just being compressed or being combined together and played successively. All right? So that is the same concept with animation. So it's a method of photographing successive drawings, models, or even puppets to create an illusion of movement in a sequence. So one example, maybe if maybe you've already experienced it back when, when you were younger, but have you tried flip books? Or nakadrawing ba mo sa inyo ha mga libro and then yung ginaflip? Katong drawing ninyo ang inyong libro da yun, o mga action da yung pag inyong i-flip, play siya. So basically, what we do, what we do, what we do is we draw each action in each page, diba? Kada action ato siyang idraw idraw nato siya sa papel o sa libro, and then we flip it, <laughs> we flip it, and then once we are able to perfectly flip it, then that the, we will see an illusion of movement. Depende of maayo ba natong pagka drawing, right? So that is the same concept with animation. So every action will be drawn individually, and then the animator will take a photograph to it and then they will go to play it simultaneously or successively and our brain will tell us that the picture is moving. So that is animation. In tradition, anim traditional animation, pictures are drawn or painted on a transparent celluloid sheet and to be photographed and shown on film. Early cartoons and old Disney animated movies are examples of this. But today, most animation is made with computer-generated imagery or CGI. So in traditional animation, so this is the type of animation that the mga old films, old animated films, are uh, usually being done. So they, the animators will draw the pictures on a transparent celluloid sheet or cell sheet. So 
kailang acetate. Ina na. The transparent sheets ba? Like acetate. Or ka nang nga ginagamit sa itong face shield? Diba? Transparent man na siya? So, celluloid sheets are similar to that. Okay? So, they are transparent. And then, each object will be drawn individually. Or, you know, each, like, characters will be drawn on a separate sheet. And then, they're going to be layered on top of each other. So, for example, here. So, this is not the actual traditional uh, traditional um, uh, anime animation but the, just a, just the general idea on how they do it so for example here we have a background the first thing that the animator will do is to create a background so they can either use canvas or you know piece of paper and then paint it with oil and you know paint and you know, paint with oil something like that right and then on a celluloid sheet they are going to draw transparent celluloid sheet they're going to draw an object like that so since the celluloid sheet is transparent makita ra ang background but katong mga drone nga object will be displayed uh, on top of it and then they were going to do the same with another transparent sheet on a different for a different subject all right so since all of these sheets are transparent makita ra ug unsay naa sa likod niya so that is the concept of traditional animation and each movement will be photographed so for example kaning gadagan so if each movement each action of the sequence para sa kaning well kaning gadagan will be photographed and then it will be played simultaneously so that we will the, the viewers will fine will you know it to create an illusion that the picture is moving all right so if you talk about animation there are two things that we have to learn first is fr frames and frame rate so when we say frame these are individual pictures in the sequence of images in animation, it refers to the drawing emphasizing a single action. Combining these drawings and played in a specific frame rate make the illusion of the movement. So basically, if we're going back to um, on the traditional animation, the, the animator has to draw each action of the movement. You know, dapat nila picture and binagsa and then combining them all together and play them successively so that, so that it will depict an illusion of movement and each of those phot photographs are called frames okay so again each photograph that is being taken for the animation is called frames and then frame rate it is the speed at which the animation is played it's it is measured by the number of frames per second so that's why maybe some of you have noticed but can i if you're going to download a movie and then check its properties on your computer may makabotang dito nga like 24 fps 25, 30 FPS. So those are frames per second, meaning there are, for example, if it's 24 frames per second, that means there are 24 frames or 24 photographs per one second. So imagine in animation, if the, the, the specification of the movie is 11 or 12 or 24 frames per second, meaning there are 24 drawings in just one second. So imagine how many drawings they have to provide to draw, they have to produce to give us two hours of movie. Right? So our eyes can only retain an image of one sixteenth of a second. When multiple images appear in fast succession, the brain blends them into a single moving image. All right. So that means our eyes, now, based, uh, according to science, our eyes can only retain one sixteenth of a second. So that means we can only can only retain sixteen frames per second. All right. So when multiple images appear in fast succession, the brain blends them into a single moving image. So let's try to compare the images that we have here on the left and the right side. Makita ba? Huh? Ay, ala, sorry. Gaya na pang wala yung makikita ng screen? Pag-start pa? Wala. Wala, karoon doon muna eh. Oh. 
My goodness. Susukan, gaina, wala yung makita. Makita. Wala mo lingon lagi. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Uh, okay. Let's go back a little bit, na lang. Okay, so again, this is how a traditional. Going back to the traditional animation. So this is how traditional animation is generally being done. So the first thing is the animators will draw, will play the background just like this. Okay, and then each subject or each object will be drawn in a separate celluloid sheet. So we say celluloid sheet. They are transparent sheets, just like what we see on our kanaginagamit sa tong face shield, di ba? So since they are transparent, everything that you're going to draw on it will be makita siya, and then everything that is koan, behind it will be visible. So what the animators usually does is they're going to draw the objects on a celluloid sheet and then place it on top of the background. And since it's transparent, makita kung saan nasa yung background, right? And then they're going to do the same thing for the rest of the um, objects inside the scene, right? Just like that. Okay, so that is how traditional animation usually is being done. And then again, frames per second, same concept. Each of those photographs will, are frames, and those photographs, uh, each action of the movement will be taken in a photograph, and then the frame rate is the speed at which the animation is played. So it is measured by the number of frames per second. So again, if the movie has 11 frames per second, that means there are 11 photographs or 11 drawings in just one second. And imagine how many drawings there is for the entire movie. Bad again, Dayo. All right, so here, this is basically on how the animation is being done. So again, our eyes can only retain an image for 1 16th of a second. That means Murabag Atong Mata can only retain 16 FPS or 16 frames per second. So when multiple images appear in fast succession, the brain blends them into a single moving image. All right. So let's try to compare the pictures on the left and on the right side. So on the left side, there are 11 pictures, 11 drawings that are being uh, played um, uh, successively, but on a very slow speed, very slow uh, frame rate. So if we're going to play the animation slowly, then this is how it's going to look like. So we see that there are different pictures that are being played successively. So I'm not sure if makita ba na ninyo diha o claro, but here in my end, at least there are 11 frames. And if, we go, if it's going to be played in the proper, in its proper frames per second or its proper speed, this is how it's going to look like. So on the left side, so there are 11 pictures, and if it's going to be played in... A, the proper frame rate, then it's going to look like this. All right? So basically, it's the same concept with the split phone. All right? So there are two types of animation, or at least two ways on how the animators create an animation. So first is animation on twos. So when we say animation on twos, one image is drawn every two frames. So for example, there usually there are 24 frames in one second. That means the animator will draw 12 frames only. That means they will going to draw 12 pictures to provide one second. All right? On animation on twos, however, the animators have to draw each frame. So if there are 24 frames in one second, then the animators will have to draw 24 frames in one second. They have to draw 24 drawings. So, um, Animation on tools will have double the effort to, pro to produce one single second, all right? However, the difference between the two is that when animation, mostly animators will use the animation on tools because it increases the speed of the animation process. But animation on ones are also being done. The animation, for, animation on ones are being done Whenever there are among us in Kekanam, mga slow mo ba? If slow motion among us in, mostly animators will do it on one. In that way, slow motion para mas smooth ang iyahang action. 
And then there are two, uh, five types of animation that we are going to discuss all throughout the course. The first one would be traditional animation. So pictures are drawn or painted on transparent celluloid sheet to be photographed and shown on film. All right? So just like what we discussed a while ago, so each of the pictures will be drawn separately and then they are being combined together to produce sequence of or sequence of one, actions that will depict motion. But in reality, there are just pictures that are being played successively. And then 2D animation is also called vector-based animation. It's the same concept with traditional animation. However, it is being done using computers. You're using computer animation software, all right? So um, it's the same concept with animation with traditional animation, pero using computers. So there are lots of computer animating software like Adobe Animate, Adobe After Effects, um, Toon Boom, so on and so forth. We have 3D animation. Uh, 3D animation technique is the same concept with 2D animation, but using three-dimensional space, meaning if 2D animation is flat, has flat surface, like it only has length and width, the 3D animation has length, width, and depth. All right, kita tahu kita nampak saya difference between 2D and 3D, guys. Okay, so 2D, amor saya cartoon, karena um, nak yang flat terasa bah, flat surface pun bagai ada only length and width, but in 2D, basically it has three dimensions. It uses three dimensional space. That means it has width, length, width, and it has depth. And then we have motion graphics. It focuses on text and graphics combined with audio to create the illusion of motion. So when we say motion graphics, um, basically these are types of animation that focuses only on text and graphics. So for example, can I, um, have you watched any Netflix movies or TV shows like Big Game so on so forth? Every time that we start a movie, na ay dako ang letter N, na mo zoom in, right? Okay, so that is an example of motion graphics. So it doesn't have any objects, other objects to it, but only it focuses only with text and graphics. So that is motion graphics. And I'll give you more examples in our future lesson. And then stop motion, it uses captured frames of physical objects. So when you say physical objects, it could be either puppets, clay, so on and so forth. Kita na kita na o mga stop motion movies, like Kubo and the Two Strings something. Alimos kung sa title nato. Kita mo na two bond at two strings, two strings. How about Sean the Sheep? Okay. Maybe some of you have have watched it, but kaniyang kung ako, let me show you. I know na some of you have already seen this. Kaniyang movie oh. Oh yes, that's clay. So that is an example of stop motion. So each clay will be formed in a specific, you know, will be formed in a specific angle or something like that. And then the animators will take a picture on it and then they were going to play those pictures successively that will tell us that it's moving. So I think one Shakubu and Muna yung game on Gaina. So some of you have seen this movie as well. So this is one example of Can you get that one, eh? Movie? So this is an example of a stop motion a movie as well. So there are other stop motion movies. Let's check stop motion movie. Dara, Sean the Sheep. They own um. Can you? I'm not sure. Salam niya. Okay, kato mga movies ni Tim Burton, kato ng Frankie and Winnie, the Nightmare Before Christmas, so on and so forth. So these are example of. Stop motions. Basically, they are formed using physical objects like clay, puppet, and many more. And then, same concept. Each movement will be taken photograph or will be photographed, and then they will they will be played successively. Right. More about the types of animation will be discussed in our future lesson. So this time, let's talk about the history of animation. The history of animation started long before the development of cinematography. The first concept of animation can be traced back to the early Paleolithic period, where humans may have attempted to depict motion. So, ever since, 
people often perform shows on projected images through shadow plays and magic lanterns. As cinematic industry began, several animation techniques were developed. This includes stop motion and drawn animation. So, uh, basically, this concept of animation can be traced back long, very long time ago. Uh, maybe the uh, it says here that may have attempted to depict motion. So, um, some experts will think that the this kind of animation fine. Because up until now, we still enjoy doing it. So, kung kasulay mo kanang inyo hang pitan na kasukain suga and then na i wall inyong inyong kamot inyong form form og mga object like himo inyong inyong shadow i form ninyo og like dog kasulay mo na like the when the painter in negro again for a couple of years wala me kuryente because bago pa mi sa lugar so me, my sister, and my cousins will usually play kanang magabi e, magkwami katong dako jo kayo masuga, and then we were going to play shadows kanang magform pa panindo time o forma sa shadow. So those are those are concept one concept of animation. So ever ever since the unang panahon, they've already depicted that, and then um, ever since in 96, I'm sorry, ever since um, in maybe 1659 people particularly in Japan and any other East Asian countries have already performed um, shadow plays like this so maybe some of you have seen this in some movies or whatever so these are called shadow play when people were going to project shadows of objects on a piece of paper and then the, you know mga tao nga magtanaw so that is a shadow play and then here this is a magic lantern same thing it will project Basically, this box right here, na a light source, and then this kanimurag lens will have pictures inside of it, and then the light source will project the shadow of the picture using this kanimurag lens. All right. So basically, that is the earliest um, concept of animation. And then as the world gets modernized, the cinematography was introduced to the world, and that's the time that you know uh, several techniques were developed, like Stop motion, drawn animation, and right now the CGI or computed image or computer gra generated imagery. So here's another tool for animation, for early animation. So in 1883, the Phenakistoscope <laughs> introduced the stroboscopic principles of modern animation, which decades later would also provide a basis for cinematography. So basically it still uses light and shadows of projection and then the pictures will be moved and then each each um, drawing will depict or you know will display one action of the movement and if they're going to play it if we're going to rotate the desk or this object in a certain rate then it will create an illusion that the picture is moving but in fact if we're going to break this picture down each of them are just one single of image and then each of the image is depicting one single action all right and then we have drawn animation so basically this is the traditional animation which animators use as cells or celluloid sheets where each frame is drawn by hand it became the main animation technique throughout the 20th century Disney Studios has been using this method until 1990 when computer animation production system was introduced. So, uh, it's safe to say that the movies before 1990, you know, Disney animated movies before 1990 are computer generated, uh, are hand drawn or drawn animation or using the traditional way. But after 1990, all of the animation produced by Disney are already using computer. So if you think about any movies or any animated movies from Disney after 1990, so they are all computer-generated animation. So around the, around the turn of the millennium, computer animation became the dominant animation technique in most regions, while Japanese anime remains very popular. Computer animation is mostly associated with a three-dimensional appearance with detailed shading, although many different animation styles have been generated or simulated with 
computers. So nowadays, um, most of the animation, if not all, are already using um, computer. So aside from maybe some of the manga animes, Maybe some of them are still doing the traditional way of drawing, but most of the time they are using computers. And uh, here are some of the notable early events in animation according to Wikipedia. So there are maybe there are lots of notable events in animation, so we're just going to talk some of it. Okay, so in 1900s, J. Stewart Blackton and Thomas Edison created the Enchanted Drawing, the first film to feature exceptional animated sequence. So here we have Thomas Edison. So we know Thomas Edison as the, the, one of the earliest and maybe pinakasik, one of the um, pinakasikat nga scientists, but he's also responsible for the very first animated film. So let's try to watch this. Try to try to observe again right now the try to observe the person you have you see the picture is the expression is changing. Right. So basically this is the very first film that feature exceptional right. So there have been lots of animations before, but this is the first one that has that feature exceptional animated sequence, meaning na ashay proper nga sequences of move animation, di ba? Kaya na ang naong sa tao gamuro, karon ga smile, so on and so forth. So in the next, uh, 1908, it was the release of Phantasmagory, the world's first cartoon. So the first cartoon was Phantasmagory, and it was released in 1908. Let me play it for you. So, kana siya. Muna pinakauna na itong cartoon. It was released in 1908. And then in 1923, Walt Disney Animation Studios was founded. So this is Walt Disney. And uh, we have here our very first uh, Disney cartoon, which is uh, Mickey Mouse. And it was founded in 1923. And in 1928, the first cartoon with sound, Steamboat Willie, Kick off the Mickey Mouse cartoon series. So let me try to play it for you. Nakabantay morning as in. Usually, this day, with time nga mo, mutana o tao, Disney animation. Usually, makita nato ni nga sin. Nasa ilang intro. So, because it was the very first cartoon to do by Disney. In the first
proceed. And in 1937, the first ever full-length animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, was released. Okay, so in, it was in 1937 when the Disney Animation uh, per, released their first full-length movie, which is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So I think I have a page of it. Snow White. Ah, wala. Wala na akong na-download. Alright? Okay. And then, in 1990, The Rescuers Down Under, the first animated feature movie made on computers without a camera, was released. So, if you can remember, it was in 1990s when computer um, gen computer animation software was, one, was developed. So, all the Disney animation movies after 1990 are all made using computers. So, this is one of the examples. This animation was done using very animated. Okay, so that's it. Do you have it so far? Do you have any questions for regarding the animation, history of animation? Okay, all right. Okay, so uh, we'll spare a couple more minutes. Let's just discuss the overview of our subject. So again, this is ITS 303 animation, and then our mode of learning will be, of course, synchronous and asynchronous. So same thing that we've usually been doing. So we will be, for synchronous learning, we'll be doing Google Meet or Live, just like what we're doing right now. And then asynchronous learning is basically a pre-recorded pre lesson will be uploaded through YouTube. And then learning assessment will be through Google Form. Assignment will be posted through Google Classroom. And announcements will be posted through Facebook group or Facebook chat group. All right. And still, we'll be using Google Classroom for our assignments and projects. So make sure you've already installed that in your devices. And then for section B and C, here's the link to our Google Classroom. You might want to take a screenshot now, and uh, so you can join in later on. I can take next screenshot. Okay. All right, and then our course requirements will be the same. Assignment is 10%, uh, attendance 10%, assignment is 20%, learning activities or assessment. 20% projects, 20%, and major examinations are 30%. That is total of 100%. And then same lang, same lang as what we have before. Now, this may be a little bit different. Okay, again, um, to tell you honestly, this syllabus, uh, the syllabus that I prepared is for, koan, is for animation, which is for face to face in a class. Eh? However. Since it's a little, it would be a little bit different, it would be very hard for us to conduct classes for animation during this situation, you know, related to face to face. It's because, um, again, these software like Adobe Animate CC, Adobe um, After Effects will require high end or high specification ng mga laptops or computers. So, however, if nakaikus gan ng laptop or computer, you might want to install this Adobe Animate CC and Adobe After Effects. So, nalimit ko But, Adobe After Animate CC or Adobe After Effects. However, these software will require high specification. So there might be chance that we will just going to skip this one. Um, but again, you can always install that on your device so you can practice it yourself. For Android and iOS users, you might want to take a look at this uh, application. It's called Alight Motion. So this is video and animator animation editor. So basically, this animation this software will allow you to create um, animate animated one uh, animated video something like that. However, it, I'm not really sure if this is the right one that we'll be using for this course. Um, anyway, but you might you can try you can try and then try to just check it out yourself. Again, uh, it is both for iOS and Android. However. Um, right now, I'm currently checking out 
two applications actually. Dua ka, uh, dua ka application. One is application for Android and iOS, and the other one is a web application. So I'm still checking on it, and um, I'm still trying to learn how to use it. So it's called Adobe Spark. Um, it can be downloaded for Android. It can be used for Android and iOS. Again, Adobe Spark. That is an, that is an that is an application that basically we can do animation or motion graphics on it. And then there's there are also online web applications that we can use like Render Forest and Animaker. All right. So I'm still checking on it. I'm still trying to learn it. And if it's good enough, I'll I'll inform you. I'll tell you in our future lessons. But again, for now. I'm currently checking out Adobe Spark, Render Forest, and uh, Animator. So Adobe Spark can be installed in your device. The Animator and Render Forest will be used using Windows, like kanang sa Chrome in an app. All right, and um, hopefully soon we'll be able I'll be able to check it out sooner, and then I'll let you know. All right, and if you want to learn about animation, so I have I have uploaded uh, tutorials for Adobe Animate CC. It's not mine. It's not mine. I just downloaded it somewhere, and then I uploaded in using this link uh, in my Google Drive. So you might want to check it out. Just copy the link right here. I'm going to send it to you as well. And then there is a YouTube playlist for Allied Motion tutorial. So if you want to learn about Allied Motion, so I, now I playlist using this link. Um, it will give you a playlist of tutorials for a light motion. All right, so that will be all for today. Before we end, do you have any questions? Okay. Okay, so uh, for your assessment, I'm going to send you the link later on. And for your assignment, same thing. Uh, please join our Google Classroom and uh, make sure to attach and uh, join mo sa koan. Join mo. For your assignment, if you touch your screenshot, that you already joined in. Okay. All right. So, um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and turn on your camera. Alright. Okay, so ready? Three. Hold on. Ready? Three, two, one, smile. Alright. Okay, thank you everybody. I'll see you on our next class. Stand by for the link. Okay, hold on, 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 okay, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Never been this